Yo yo, how's everyone doing? My name is James. Welcome back to Griffin GFX. Today we're recreating the Lyrical Lemonade logo. So far I've done a logo like FaZe, I've done a logo like Ninjas, I've done Trap Nations, I've done Alliés, I've done Louis Vuitton and Gucci's. So today let's do Lyrical Lemonades. If you by any chance happen to be watching this, Cole Bennett, maybe you're trying to work out how to make a logo like your own logo. I've got no idea why you'd be here, but if you are, drop a comment. I love what you're doing. I've been watching you for ages. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it. I've been making this logo on Photoshop, so all you're going to need is Photoshop and a little bit of patience. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Out of space, hot like a Martian in here. Doing donuts in the lot, there ain't no parking in here. Yeah, we about that action, ain't no talking in here. Shorty twerking on the walls, Peter Park in here. Right, so the first thing that I start doing is deciding what I want the box to look like. I decided I wanted to recreate it like a Happy Meal. So I went and got an image of a Happy Meal. I had the Lyrical Lemonade logo in the top left corner. Uh, and I just started literally sketching out the shape of the Happy Meal. I was using a Wacom tablet for this and a pen tool. And if you have your pressure sensitivity on, then it means when you push hard, you're going to get a thick line. And when you push faintly, you're going to get a thin line. This helps to like sketch on Photoshop, basically. You could do something like this on paper and then just take a picture and scan it into Photoshop. But um, if you have a drawing tablet, it saves you a little bit of time. So here I was just really planning everything out, you know, trying to decide where I wanted certain bits of text, like what I wanted the handle to look like. As soon as I was confident with the shape of the product, I started adding text and using Control T, I could kind of shape the text to look like it was actually on the side of the box as opposed to kind of, you know, being flat on a 3D object. So after a little bit of playing around with that, I was ready to use my pen tool. Um, or the brush stroke tool in fact to actually start like making it look more professional so the first thing that i did is i noticed on the uh, lyrical lemonade logo that the outline width was a lot thicker than everything else that was going on so i chose a thicker width just to do the outline shape and then i started doing thinner inline strokes i did this with a pen tool and then you right click on the pen tool and just um, make a stroke selection don't press stimulate pressure otherwise it's not going to be even but if you don't click it then your strokes are going to all be the exact same width i don't know why i'm finding it so hard to talk i think it's because i've got noise cancelling headphones on so i can't actually hear my voice i decided to make the brand uh w's only you know because we never take l's here on the griffin gfx channel <laughs> I don't know, I just saw the um, the handle being an M and I thought it'd look cool upside down being a W, so that was kind of where it came from. You can see that I was originally experimenting with colour, and because I was doing cranberry juice I chose this really weird colour of pink. In the end I just ended up making it exactly the same as the Lyrical Lemonade logo, which is the light yellow and the light blue, which actually looks really nice. But it's just kind of proving during the tutorial that it really can be any colour. Once I had the colour all mapped out, I started adding like depth and texture and shadings, or well, not really texture, but all the other things. I did that by adding black layers over the top of certain parts and then turning the opacity down. That just made it look like one side was catching the light and the other side was in shadow. This is important if you want it to pop. In the Lyrical Lemonade logo, they actually don't use this effect, it's just all one flat colour, but I figured where mine was a little bit bigger, it would make sense if one side was a bit dark, it would help it stand out. I then added lots of smaller shadows under certain parts within the bright side just to make that pop out as well. And from there I was pretty much done. I did some final touches, uh, I even added a shadow underneath the box. And yeah, I called it a day from there. I'll show you it in some different colorways and some kind of variations of artwork that I've done of it because I always like to kind of show what you can do with your logo. Because once you have a finished logo, you can still brand it further. You just need to like mess around with like effects and stuff like that. And if you ever want that side of thing as a tutorial, I will very happily turn that into a tutorial. 
This was a much shorter video than my previous logo tutorials and it's because all my previous ones have been real time tutorials where I've sat down and made the logo with you guys. And I think that's kind of the reason the series does very well but I wanted to try it in this format just to see whether it was like kind of still as useful. Because I figured this was only like a 10 minute speed up that I had so I thought this would be quite easy for me to talk over. Um, and it's hard to do a logo all in one real time go because some of them are like an hour long or not usually an hour but I don't know like 30 40 minutes and you guys don't always have that time so I thought let's see what a logo tutorial would be like if it was like 10 minutes long so um or even less I guess it's gonna be like seven minutes or something probably so anyway guys that is my lyrical lemonade logo remake as a happy meal box <laughs> If that was of any use to you then drop a like if you're new to the channel then subscribe it means you'll be notified when future content comes out if you've clicked the bell that is uh, leave a comment leave some suggestions i'll read all my comments and i hope you have a good rest of your day guys i hope to see you in my next video that is me out peace Smoking legal. legal, I got more slaps than the Beatles. Beatles. Foreign shit running on diesel, dog. Playing with my name, this shit is lethal, dog.